Good afternoon everyone, Sergi Babak here, you're at Hooked for Nice Meal. Today I'll be smoking kokoni salmon. Before I get started, if you guys like this type of videos, please do us a favor, thumbs up, subscribe and leave the comments below. Let's go. So what do we got here? Kokoni about 12 inches. Kokoni usually not really big fish. The biggest one I ever seen, it was about 16 inches. I'm gonna remove the head and butterfly the fish. Back of the fin, I'm gonna make an angle cut and cut the head all the way off. I'll be using the sharpest knife uh, possible because the meat is so delicate. I'll make a cut alongside of the carcass. An angle like that. And same thing on this side. Flip the fish over and I'll be using fillet knife and by this point I'll push it through over the carcass and glide against the carcass. Like that. Flip it over again. Same thing on this side. Over the carcass, glide, and then you just pull the carcass out, just like that. And this is what you get, this is how it's supposed to look, not much meat left. And now I'm gonna try to remove these rib bones, just... Yeah, the meat is very delicate, so be very gentle. And this is what you get. Look at this beautiful butterfly fillet. All of our fish filleted, it's time to make liquid brine. We have about four pounds of fish, so we're gonna add four cups of water. One cup of brown sugar. Half a cup of sea salt. Two tablespoons of Johnny seasoning. One quarter of teaspoon ground coriander. I'll give a quick stir and bring this brine to a boil and let the salt and sugar dissolve. Last but not least, I'm gonna add one bay leaf. Our brine is done and ready. I'm gonna add two cups of ice to cool it down. I'm gonna put a little bit of a brine into our glass tray. Then we're gonna start laying out our fillets. Flash down. Layers gonna be flesh up, skin down. Add a little bit more of a burn. To be sure all of our fish submerged in the brine, we're gonna add a Ziploc of bag of water. That's gonna pressure our fish down. Our fish is ready to go into refrigerator for about eight hours. In four hours, I'm gonna mix really good to make sure all of the spices and salt with brown sugar pen penetrated into the fillets. 
Good morning, everyone. So I just pulled out our fish from refrigerator. It's been in brine for eight hours. All I did is drain the, all of the liquids and our fish is ready to be pet dry. I'm gonna add a little bit of a lemon seasoning and it's ready to go on our grill. I wanna pet dry my fish as much as I can to remove the moisture. After pet drying it, I am gonna lay it out on my pan and let it dry for about one hour and build that sticky film called pellicle. I'm gonna spray my screen with the Pam so my fish doesn't stick on it when I'm gonna place it in the grill. I'm gonna add a little bit of this uh, lemon pepper seasoning for a taste. It's gonna give you totally different taste and I love the taste of it. My just a little bit because it does has the salt in it. So we don't want to over salt it just to, to give you that little bit of a lemonish taste. I'm gonna let this fish air dry anywhere from 45 minutes to one hour to build that sticky film called pellicle so the smoke can hang on it. Our Memphis Elite Grill preheated at 180 degrees, so our fish ready to go in. We're gonna smoke our fish anywhere from two to two and a half hours. All right, I'm gonna place it on top here. And we're gonna place second screen next to it, and it's good to go. I'll be using 100% cherry pallets to smoke our fish. Internal temperature of our fish reached 120 degrees, so it's time to make really good and tasty glaze. I'm gonna start with two cubes of butter. Then I'm gonna add five tablespoons of raw honey. Two tablespoons of bourbon. And I'm gonna add some of this lemon pepper seasoning. Just a little bit, a few dashes. How about that much right there? And next we're gonna add some Cajun seasoning. How about right there? Just melt everything, not too hot. We don't want all of that bourbon to operate. It's all done. So I'm gonna transfer this beautiful glaze into this little dish. I'm gonna apply some of this glaze on our fish. Just the one base coat, we don't need very heavy. I just remove our fish from the smoker. Our fish is done, it's ready to be tried. And look at this beautiful fish. This is what you get, this is final product. Let's dig in, let's try this. We're gonna start from the middle. See, it flakes really good, look at that. Wow. Beautiful red meat. This is really good. Mm. It's so good. Meat of the kokanee salmon is so gentle and sweet. I can taste that, that cherry smoky in it. It's so tasty. It's unbelievable. This is really good recipe. So this is it, guys. That's all I got for you on this video. Please thumbs up, subscribe, and leave the comments below. See you guys on the next video.